Good morning! Welcome to the weekly vlog! Say welcome, Franklin! Welcome! <laughs> Guys, we just woke up. It's 8.30. On a Saturday, we slept in. Oh! What the hell was that? We slept in, which was beautiful. I'm going to put on my active wear, make, unmake my bed because I want to uh, wash the sheets and go to the gym. That's the plan. You know the drill, the Saturday drill. I've got my active wear on. I'm also filming for my TikTok vlog <laughs> in the back. And then after the gym, I'm going to come home and have a shower. I'm also going to um, meet a friend for lunch today. One of my friends from Canberra is in Melbourne. And I agreed to have lunch with her a little while back now, but um, I'll do that. And then I'll probably do the grocery shopping later. I want to do like all the errands today. So tomorrow I can like just edit and chill. <gasps> I need to buy new flowers. I just dropped the pillow on the flowers. Well, what a whirlwind of a morning, guys. I went to the gym. Before the gym, I dropped off my sheets and my clothes. After the gym, I picked up my clothes, I put the sheets in the dryer, came home, had a shower, did my hair, did my makeup, put on this cutest fit, I'll show you when I'm out of the car, and then now I'm going to pick up my sheets from the dryer, and then I'll go drive and meet my friend. We're going to this sushi place, it's um, literally the best sushi train I've ever been to. I'll put a link in the notes. <sighs> the guy um, that I went on those two dates with, the one that um, it didn't go any further, he actually took me there for date two and I liked it so much. So I'm going back with one of my friends. I can't remember if I said this, but she's um, from Canberra. So she's down in Melbourne for the weekend. So we're catching up today. And yeah, I'm going to go pick up the sheets and then go to have sushi train. I haven't eaten anything yet. And it's it's 11.30. By the time we get there, it'll be like 12.31. So hopefully I can survive until then. I will survive. I'm just being dramatic. Anyway, I can't wait to show you this fit. It's actually the cutest thing ever. And I feel, I don't know, very cozy. But um, I'll show you when I'm out of the car. Okay, let's go. I went to sushi train with my friend Emma. We ended up going to Secura on Lonsdale Street. I highly, highly recommend it. I'll put a link, like I said before. Um, I'm currently in the Macca's drive through So I really want to try the new Sunday. I think it's like a Cadbury Sunday. Um, I'm going to get it and hopefully dad's at home. I might give him a quick call because I want to do a taste test with him. And I feel like something sweet. You know how... After I don't know about you guys, but after I eat something savory, I need something sweet. So I'm like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it. The most embarrassing thing happened. I went to McDonald's, as you would have seen, and they didn't have the sundae. <laughs> and so now I'm making a hot cross bun because I want something sweet. And I was so embarrassed in the McDonald's line, I almost ordered something. <laughs> Just so I didn't drive through with nothing, it was so embarrassing. Anyway, got a whole new tub of butter. It's a giant one kilo butter. And these are from Ferguson Plaire, not Baker's Delight. Baker's Delight is elite. So hopefully it tastes good because I'll be very upset if it tastes bad after the letdown from the Sunday. The moment of truth, guys. Is Ferguson Plaire good? They're all right. Why is Baker's Delight Elite? That's what I want to know. Like, it's not bad. I don't think you can have a bad hot cross bun, but I swear there's like crack in the Baker's Delight one. It's so freaking good. We are having, uh, I nearly said Thai, <laughs> Japanese for dinner. Some spring rolls, some octopus legs. I'm gonna try that. Chicken, some more chicken, some edamame. Also, if you add salt to it, it tastes so much better. You made her bed. It's me. I did it. I was about to have a shower first and then make it, and then I was like, no. You will regret that. So I'm gonna have a shower now because, guys, I washed the sheets. I can't possibly get in the bed with dirty hair. Also, I'll show you. I put on one of my favorite candles. I put on my salt lamp. Probably gonna make a tea. I feel a bit sick. I've not eaten. 
a balanced diet today. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to come back after I wash my hair because it'll make me feel better. Also, so many of you said on my TikTok today, your hair looks so nice. And I'm like, fuck, it's so dirty. If only you knew. <laughs> and my hair is clean. Honestly, I feel a million times better. And now I can't wait to sleep. I'm going to put on some fresh PJs. And oh, I'm going to have such a good sleep, guys. I, um... I decided while I was drying my hair that I'm going to clean my bathroom cupboard tomorrow because that shit is fucking gross. It's so gross in there. So gross in there. I'll do it after I edit the vlog. That's my plan. That's my plan tomorrow. But um, there was something else I was going to say. Oh, remember how, like, I told you I was getting birthday tattoos in, like, January? Well, I didn't... I hadn't actually booked in an appointment then. I had gotten the tattoos designed by this girl that I saw on TikTok. She um, does like personalized, obviously, tattoo design. And so I paid her for the designs and then I emailed my tattoo artist. I was like, oh, can I please book in? And she had a cancellation for me two weeks ago on like a Tuesday, but I had meetings and I had work and I couldn't, with four days notice, I couldn't take the day off, right? <laughs> if I had more notice, I could have taken annual leave anyway. She emails me, I'm going to say three days ago, and she's like, the earliest appointment I have for you is July, and I won't let anyone else tattoo me. She's done all my tattoos except for the tattoos on the back of my legs. That was a um, backyard job. <laughs> Guys, I used to be such an idiot. I used to be such an idiot. I would put myself in silly situations um and I'm a lot wiser now so my my tattoo artist who did like this tattoo here this tattoo here all the rest of my tattoos um is incredible and I don't want anyone else to tattoo me so I said book me in for July we'll hold that as a placeholder but if you have a cancellation let me know so I'm manifesting an appointment because I want the tattoos so badly I've got them designed I think I'm gonna get four they're so cute and I'll obviously show you once I get them, but anyway, I was just there drying my hair. I was like, fuck, I really want a tattoo. So that's all the cards, but I'm going to go to bed now because I'm tired. I actually have to post my TikTok vlog. <laughs> Let me do that first. Good morning. Happy Sunday, guys. Um, I did sleep in my little hairnet and I have no fucking idea what happened to my hair. But anyway, it's actually freezing so cold I slept in this jumper it's so old and then my flannel pajama pants because I washed all my new long winter pajamas yesterday and they'd not dry yet so I'm wearing this mismatch but it's daylight savings no daylight savings is over so clocks went backwards we got an extra hour of sleep and I've woken up so tired what the fuck it's 7 30 right now and it feels like, I don't know, 5.30 a.m. But it's really 8.30 a.m. if we didn't put the clock back. Anyway, I'm going to make my bed, put on my gym fit, and go do a workout because we're doing upper body. <sighs> Feeling much better after I've had a coffee because coffee just makes everything better. Um, I'm awake now. I'm awake. But also, it's cold. I'm not ready for winter. Anyway, I'm going to do an upper body workout and then I'm happy because I've done Shh. I've done four sessions this week because I trained Thursday, Friday, which was in last week's vlog, Saturday, Sunday. I, I really need to get back to actually going to the gym on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So <laughs> I just need to do four sessions, but daylight savings was making it hard to get up. So that was the excuse I was telling myself. Let's see if I wake up better this week. I just finished my workout and I was going to actually go do the grocery shopping because that's on my to-do list today. I didn't get to do it yesterday. And I was like, you know what? I might actually, because it's raining, stop, buy myself a fresh bunch of flowers so I can change the flowers in my room because they have died. Um, and then I will eat breakfast and then do the shopping because if I shop on an empty stomach, I will buy unnecessary items. <laughs> Look at what ones I picked. How pretty are they? I've never gone for a yellow bunch, so I absolutely adore native flowers. They're actually probably my favorite flowers. However, 
for my birthday weekend or that the the week before my birthday I bought that red bunch of red roses or pink roses bright pink roses and then there was like this lighter pink um flower in there as well and they lasted about two weeks today tomorrow will be two weeks right if that was the native flowers the native flowers would last I reckon even like three to four weeks because even once they start to dry out they still hold their color and they look beautiful however they drop all this like I don't know what you want to call it like not not dirt but it's like bits from the flower and they are really 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 messy and usually I'm constantly vacuuming my room every single day to get rid of all the little things that the native flowers drop and the roses didn't drop anything not even like a leaf and so I'm like I'm going to go for this one today because we've got some roses in there and then we have another flower. I don't know what they're called and hopefully they they last as long. So I'm doing a bit of trial and error. I still love native flowers though and I'm thinking maybe I just need to buy some native flowers that are already dried that won't drop more stuff. But anyway, I'm going to eat. Guys, I made breakfast and these strawberries are from the garden, all of them. I was worried because I haven't done the grocery shopping yet and I thought I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna have any berries for my um, little brekkie bowl but I did so I'm gonna eat that and then I'll show you the flowers because I changed them and then I'm gonna have a shower and go do the groceries because I haven't done it so that's what we're gonna do where's Franklin hi oh, you can't see him there he is <laughs> I did my hair and makeup also I fucked up because I decided to try black eyeliner today and I fucking hate it and now every time I look at my face, I'm getting annoyed. But I've already done the makeup, so I'm just going to commit to it. For now, I'm going to get changed and I'll show you my fit. I am wearing a black little crop. I've got my Muscle Nation jacket and then jeans from Glasses. I'm going to take my Ismi bag. I'm all black, guys. I'm dressed, I'm dressed for black, but I do have... Oh, I've got Vans on. I thought I had Reeboks on for a split second. Anyway, I'm going to head to the shops. I've got a shopping list. We're going Coles, Aldi, Baker's Delight, The Deli. We're doing the full spread today. So I'll take you with me. My aim is to try and get home before my parents have gone shopping to buy other things. So that's my plan. All right, I am at Westfield. I'm gonna go in and do the shopping now, guys. I am gonna try and do it as quickly as I can because I'm already hungry and I wanna get lunch right afterwards. So let's do it. Grocery shop is done. And now I'm gonna go get a poke bowl from the other side because I'm starving, guys. It's 2 p.m., which is not... Someone's driving behind me, which is not too bad. Oh, now someone's walking. All right, I'm going to get off. Bye. Also, guys, oh, I posted a TikTok today about how I got these flowers, and in them are these beautiful lilies. Did you know that they are toxic to dogs? Because I did not know, and one of you messaged me or um, commented on my TikTok saying... Adele, I love your videos, but do you know these are very toxic to Franklin? And I had no idea. So I'm going to get rid of them now um, because I don't want him to die. Anyway, I just ate my poke bowl. I'm going to start editing the, the weekly vlog. And I'm going to quickly do another trip to Coles because I need to get my muesli and something else. went to Coles and they had it. The white chalk mocha inspired by Milky Bar. Guys, I'm going to do a review tomorrow with mum. Also, mum tried the cookies and cream and she really liked it. And then I also got my muesli and now the shopping is done. I'm going to get to editing the weekly vlog and I'm going to reply to comments from my last YouTube video. So how crazy is this? So this morning I went to the gym, right? And there was this guy there and he was really, really hot. And I was thinking to myself, fuck, he's so hot. And I was like smiling at him, you know, just being like, I think you're cute. And then he like left the gym 10 minutes after I got there. Um, don't know his name, don't know anything about him, haven't really seen him before or noticed him before. I've probably seen him before and not realized. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I just run to Coles to get those two things because I did the grocery shopping and then the Coles I went to didn't have those two items and so I went to a different Coles and I walk in and the guy from the gym is in there. What? <laughs> and he like smiled at me, I smiled at him, I was like, oh my god. Anyway, I just found that like really weird and now I'm going to do some stalking on the gym Instagram to see if I can find him and see if he's single, because if he is, I'm going to slide in his DMs. <laughs> oh god, I'm scared. I'm editing the vlog, guys. I've been editing it for two hours. The editing takes the longest, really. Everything else, filming it, is, is a walk in the park. The editing is 
the longest. Anyway, we had homemade pizza for dinner, um, which was delish. And now I'm just trying to get this up at 7 p.m. And I want it up within the next like hour or two. So I'm hustling. I have made a tea. My vlog is uploading to YouTube. There's 22 minutes left. And it's 8.17, so it will be live before 9 p.m. Which I think is still a little bit late, but <clears throat> it just... I started editing too late and then so I edit it then the movie has to export from the app that I use and then I have to upload it so exporting can take like half an hour to 45 minutes uploading can take an hour <laughs> so that's already two hours plus two hours editing it's like a four hour thing <laughs> anyway I've just made a peppermint tea guys so I'm gonna go watch the rest of the mass reunion I got sucked in and then I'm going to have a shower and wash my face, put on my PJs, that's the plan. I'm actually so happy that Daylight Savings has ended because I'm tired now and it's 10 o'clock. I just posted my daily vlog on YouTube, on TikTok, wow. And something weird happened to my vlog this week on YouTube. Some people said they couldn't see it and the other people said they could see it. And the people that couldn't see it were trying to watch it from the app. But the people who were watching it from the link on my story could see it and I could see it. So I'm sorry if that was you last week. I'm really sorry. I think next week I'll make this video private until it's 100% loaded. And then I'll make it public. What the fuck, Adele? Anyway, I'm going to bed and I'm going to wake up tomorrow for the gym. We're doing a 5am wake up. When you see me next, it'll be 5am. <laughs> it's not 5am. It's 6am. You know what, guys? I fucked up because I've trained four days in a row and my body is physically sore so I'm not going to the gym but I'm gonna go for a walk let's do it just got back from our walk guys it's actually so nice having daylight savings over because it was daylight today and I was getting a little bit scared going for walks in the morning because it was so dark until like 7 40 anyway let's make breakfast I'm going to have the usual. I went to two different Coles yesterday to find this because they were sold out. Anyway, I had to get it because this is my last bit of the old packet. And this is the best movie, guys. The best. Hello, are you watching something, Mr. Franklin? We'll get a yogurt and we'll also grab some strawberries. So my plan is to make this and then have a shower, get ready. I'm working from home today. Mondays are usually a work from home day because I have so many internal meetings. And then before I start work, I'm going to reply to comments on my YouTube video because you guys are the best and you leave me such sweet comments and I love you. It has been, I'm going to say, a month more of me using these, the beauty globes. Remember how I said I gave a little review on TikTok and I was like, for relaxation, like, yes, but I don't really notice the rest, the other benefits, like, and that bird's really loud, but, um... I think I've actually changed my mind. I think I like them. <laughs> anyway, I just like it from a like mindfulness perspective because it does make me feel quite relaxed. And I don't know, it's just part of the routine now. Um, and I like it. And I do think it does get the blood flowing because when I stop, like my face is a little bit more red. Um, I do think I want an ice roller, but until I, until these have done their duty, and what I mean by that is, is I don't want to waste them. I did pay $60 for them, so I want to get my money's worth. Um, I will get a nice roller. But I just want to provide an update. But, yeah, I would say, if you want an ice roller, listen to that gut instinct. Don't buy these instead. But if you do buy these, like, they're, they're actually nice and cool. Anyway, I'm going to get ready for work now. I think I'm going to wear my matching pink tracksuit. And I did wear it. <laughs> I actually love this set. I bought it in lockdown last year. 
<gasps> There's a fucking hole in it. Oh, that's so that's bad. Can you see that? It's on the pocket. These these were not cheap. <gasps> I'm really shocked. They're from it's from Local Heroes. I bought it from the Iconic. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. <laughs> The whole fit was like $200 maybe, maybe more. Anyway, I do love it because I love pink. So it makes me happy. But I'm going to log on now. It's 8.30. So I'm going to do some emails for my own stuff and YouTube comments. And then I'll log into my meeting at 9am. I'll check in with you after that. So I have had back-to-back -back meetings this morning, guys. And I'm about to go have pizza for lunch because we have leftover pizza from last night. I really want a poke bowl, but I know that I probably shouldn't have that. I should probably eat the food at home, even though I really want a poke bowl. But leftover pizza always slaps, so I'm excited for that. I'll show you it. This is my homemade pizza for lunch. How good is leftovers? I'm not heating it up because I like to eat it. Oh, I shouldn't put it there. I like to eat it cold. So good. Check that out. Oh no, my camera's gonna die. Oh no, please don't die. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly go to the shop because I need to check the PO box. Um, there's something in there. I got an email about it. So let's go see what it is. So I got two deliveries. One of them is from Perfect Pony. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so you guys know every time I do my sleek hair, it's from the Perfect Pony, sorry. Um, this is what I use and I also use it to set my brows. I have it in my brows today because I um, don't have any makeup on. Oh, I think my phone's ringing. No, it's not ringing. That's okay. I thought it was ringing. My phone actually rang. Sorry, my work phone. I thought my work phone was ringing. Anyway, I'm still on my lunch break. But I also got a delivery from Mecca. I'm going to unbox both of these on TikTok later. That's what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to go back into work. <laughs> Look at this dinner, guys. We have some broccolini. We've got those crispy potatoes. We have crumbed pork. I'm just going to pick up one to show you. <laughs> Look at how good this looks. I just had dinner. I also filmed my unboxing for TikTok before. Um, I'm fucking back working because I had something due today for my client and I haven't completed it yet and it wasn't my fault it's not delayed it was the lawyer's fault <laughs> anyway I'm stressed I literally have a knot in my stomach and I feel terrible emailing people at like 7 p.m but I have to get it back to the client today so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do my AMA people ask me what AMA means on insta it means ask me anything ask me anything anyway I'm gonna do that in literally 18 minutes I've got to get this email off first <laughs> I need to charge this camera. Guys, I just did a, um, what do you call it, Q&A on my Insta or ask me anything. And I probably got the most questions I've ever been asked tonight. And I tried to, I try to answer them all, but obviously I try to answer them with this computer, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I try, I try to answer I try to answer ones that I know are either frequently asked or there's a few of you that have asked the same questions and I always give like very detailed like advice type ones because they're my favorite to answer and so it does take me a little while and it is like a emotional commitment um, but I posted my daily vlog to TikTok and now I'm going to get into bed because it is 10 p.m. I just put Franklin to sleep and I am actually going to go gym tomorrow. I had a rest day today. I trained four days in a row. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Rest day today, Monday. I'm going tomorrow morning. I'll see you at 5 a.m. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Guess what time it is? It is 8.50. I've got a meeting in 10 minutes in South Melbourne. I'm on Albert Street. Um, where I'm having a coffee with a potential client. And I actually left my house at 7.30 this morning. I was determined not to be late because I'm not wanting to be late. Anyway, I didn't go to the gym. That's two days in a row I have messed that up. So I'm actually, I've decided and I just decided right now, I'm doing a lunchtime session. That's what I'm doing. After this, I've got to go to Docklands for a meeting. 
Then I have a meeting at 11.30 to 12.30, which is online, which I can do. It's with my boss. I can do driving home, quickly drive home, get changed, do my workout in my lunch break. That's my plan. Anyway, I'm going to head into this meeting. I am excited because I am meeting with a um, new, new potential client, which is really exciting because I think it's always the best when you have lack like, repeat business in what I do, but I also love when you meet new people and just like hearing about what they do and like if we can help them, it's just nice. So I'm going to head in now and I'll see you guys after. So that meeting went really well and now I am at my second meeting. I'm in the Docklands. It's currently 10 past 10. I drove from South Melbourne to here. My next meeting is not until 11.30, which is online. So... I'm probably going to have to do that one from the car because this one is from 10.30 till 11.30 um, and I'm literally going to work in my car now until 10.30. So I'll do some work until 20, 10.25 um, and that is the life, the life of a business development manager. Anywhere can be an office, guys. Your car, the cafe, anywhere. Anyway, I better do some work but I will see you after both of these meetings when I'm home and going to the gym. I quickly came back home to eat, put on my active wear. I'm gonna quickly go do a leg workout. I'm back home guys. I have been home for a little while, it's 3 p.m. I had lunch. I also um, put on a t-shirt just because I didn't wanna work in my bra in case someone called me. So I've got, I've just tucked it under the bra. Um, and I worked out with makeup on, which I fucking hate doing. Anyway, it is what it is. So I'm going to finish work and then I'm going to cook dinner. I'm cooking tonight because my mum went into the office today and she'll be home late. Everyone will be home late. So I'm making garlic prawns and I'm going to film it for TikTok. That's my plan. Here is tonight's dinner. It's garlic prawns and also rice. You could even serve this with some veggies if you wanted, but we didn't do that. Um, and the recipe is on my TikTok. So yeah, we are going to dig in now. Carla is here. Where are you going, Carla? Tell us. Um, I'm going to an off the grid festival. Oh, and when do you leave? Tomorrow. How excited are you? Pretty excited. What are you most looking forward about it? Um, like, to meet some like-minded beings. Beautiful. And how and long? To learn. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. And to learn what? Uh, and to learn how to be more self-sufficient. Love that. Yes. And how long is this for? Um, the festival was on Saturday and Sunday okay. in El Dorado. Okay, fantastic. Dora, maybe, maybe that's not how you pronounce it. No, I think you said it right. Anyway, guys, sometimes you ask me, where's Carla? Carla is away sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, she likes to go on adventures or stay at her girlfriend's house. And she's going to be away for how long now? Um, I'm going to come back next week. Yeah. So that's why sometimes you don't see her, but we love her. <laughs> Guys, you're seeing it here for the third day in a row. I have actually, I'm proud of myself, it's 9pm. Oh, wait, 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 can we see that? It's 9pm. I have posted my vlog to TikTok already. Look at me, a whole hour early. Usually I post it closer to 10pm. I'm gonna finish this tea. I just ate a hot cross bun, which was fucking delicious. And I'm gonna take this eye mask off in a second. This is the crystal one from James Cosmetics. Look, it has glitter in it. I like this one um, for nighttime. If you watch my uh, April, March empties, sorry, I like the caffeine one for the morning. And then most of the other ones I will either use if I'm like getting ready or before bed. And I felt like I needed one today because it was a long day. It was a long day, but... Oh, guys, tomorrow I'm fucking waking up at 5am. I'm going to set an alarm on my work phone and on my personal phone. And I'm going to put the phones on my desk. So I literally have to get out of my fucking bed and stop playing myself. And saying I'm going to wake up and then not waking up because I'm pissing myself off. And it's my own fault because I know what I've been doing wrong. I've been staying up until fucking midnight. Since when? Who am I? And then I've also been putting my phone right beside me, which is like against the rules. It's one of my tips. If you want to wake up early, you literally make yourself have to get out of the bed 
to turn off the alarm because once you're up you're likely not to get back into bed anyway watch this space guys <laughs> oh god I'm not gonna disappoint future Adele I'm not I'm not doing it <laughs> guys look at that 520 she woke up she woke up I'm so happy thank god I'll see you after the gym <laughs> Guys, I just finished my gym session. Cute guy was in there. Anyway, he like full smiled at me and I smiled back, obviously. Um, but I was like too nervous to do anything else and I think he was too. The gym was a little bit busy, but what the hell, he's really cute. I haven't even spoken a word to him. <laughs> and I'm like, I love this man. <laughs> we walked for half an hour this morning, so it's 7 a.m. at the moment. I'm just going to quickly make brekkie and then have a shower and start work. I signed a deal yesterday and every time you sign a deal you have to do all this paperwork to like submit it to the company so I want to do that before I actually start work so that I am not behind today because work has been stressing me a lot, a lot. Anyway, Franklin was so cute this morning. Franklin, where are you? Oh, hi, can you go see him? No. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Guys, it's 8.30. I'm ready for work. It's a work from home day, but I do have three meetings. One of them is external. One of them, two of them are internal. Anyway, this is the fit. <laughs> this is the fit today. Love this for me. I'm going to jump on now and do some YouTube comments and reply to some brand emails before I actually start my job at 9am. So let's do that and I'll see you guys probably at lunchtime. Also guys, I forgot to tell you, I just filmed a video for Perfect Pony. I freaking love Perfect Pony. You would have seen this in my first video, I reckon, the Noosa one. That's the first time I spoke about it. Um, Diana, the owner, she's a small business owner. Um, she asked if I would like to do a sponsored post for her on my TikTok. I was like, yes, absolutely. Because I've been buying this for literally like ever. Um, and I'm actually going to put, I got, I got a few of them. I'm going to put some in the next giveaway because I think it's the best. So if you want to do an order, I'll put the code below. Um, but I'm about to log on for work now. So I will see you definitely at lunchtime. All right, guys. I am going to get lunch. It's currently 1.40. 1.40. Wait, let me just check. I just had a heart failure. Do I have another meeting? Do I have another meeting? No, I'm okay. Next one's not until 4.30. All right, we're going to get a poke bowl. We're buying two cucumbers, two tomatoes, because that's what my mum just asked me to get. Did I just do what? Wow, I'm, I'm an idiot. I bought this bag and all of my stuff is in my purse, which is in my work bag. But I've got pay pass on my phone, so I can buy, buy my lunch. <laughs> oh, guys, I tried to go. I tried to go and get, um, what do you call it? Food. They didn't have the Pokeball ready. I probably need to start ordering it. Anyway, I got two deliveries. This one is a delivery for my actual work. In here is a signed contract, which I'm very excited about. And now I'm like, fuck, how am I going to scan that? I probably have to go to Officeworks. And then I also got a delivery. It's a PR delivery, which I might unbox on here or maybe even on um, TikTok. It is from a pretty big company and I'm excited to show it, show it to you guys because um, I accepted this gift. What's in here is a gift because I wanted to do a collab and I'm very picky when it comes to collabs with um, skincare and maybe I've put myself in like a little, um, I don't know, maybe I've like squeezed myself or backed myself into a corner but unless I like really like love the brand or like use it right now. I don't really want to do any collab or like ads for any other skincare company because I feel like how, and I see this with other creators or influencers where they like will advertise like a different skincare product like every month or like a different thing every month. And I'm just like, how, like who's out here changing their skincare stuff? You know, anyway, point of the story is there's skincare products in here and I will, I will show you guys. You'll see it eventually. Um, and I said to the company, I need to try it first. I do use one product of theirs at the moment. Let me try it first 
let me give it a go and then we can discuss because I'm not out here just going to say yes. You know, it's not worth it. Um, and I think that's how you keep trust and, I don't know, just like credibility. Otherwise, yeah, I just, I just can't see myself doing that ever. But um, I will show you guys. Anyway, I'm going to quickly run in to Coles. My phone's ringing. Um, all right, I'm going to quickly run into Coles and get some cucumbers because mum asked me to get that. I have finished work for the day, guys. I, well, no, I'm still doing emails and stuff. Um, I'm doing some brand emailing and then some of my normal job emailing. It's 6 p.m. I should be done. I also have a meeting with my mortgage broker in a minute. So we are just going to finalize all the stuff for settlement. Um, guys, it's so stressful. Who let me be an adult? I still feel like a child. I feel like there should be like a handbook for this stuff. Anyway, I'm going to eat dinner, then log on to do that. And then I've got a meeting with a graphic designer because we're sorting out some artwork for the podcast, some artwork for YouTube, and maybe even a website for me. Um, yeah, exciting stuff happening tonight, guys. So we are having pork roast, roast pork tonight, mum. Oh, that was, that was good content, mum. Give oh. the... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, show us. Show us with the little burning tool. Oh, look at her go, guys. There we go. It's cheating. It's not cheating. We're just trying Most to crisp. We just. Oh my god, Most get your hand away. I ended up washing my hair, and now I am going to get into bed, guys. It's 10 p.m. I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow, and hope. My gym crush is there because I think I'm going to go up to him and just be like, hey, I think you're cute. I think you should ask me on a date. <gasps> I'm going to do it. I feel sick thinking about it. Wait, <laughs> I forgot. Tonight I had a meeting with a graphic designer. Um, I don't know if she watches my YouTube videos. I don't think she does, but hi, Rachel, if you do. Um, and guys... We are so close on the podcast, so close. So she's just helping me with kind of like the vision for it. And I do a lot of my YouTube stuff on Canva. And as I said, I'm not a professional. Um, and so I just, I needed a little bit more help with the podcast just because when I do something, I obviously give 110% effort always, but I really want to kind of come out the gates nailing that. Whereas like YouTube, I was like, I can do enough and something is better than nothing and done is better than perfect but the podcast I do need a little bit more help so ah, that'll be here soon guys progress 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 and yeah I'm happy I'm really happy anyway I'm gonna jump into bed now I'll see you in the morning guys I did it it's 5 27 it's my car is iced today all right leg session done fuck that was hard um also I was a little bitch so he was there. I do know his name now. I tried to stalk on um, the gym Instagram in case he like follows it or well, they follow him, but I could not find it. I'm going to still stalk though because honestly I should be in the FBI. My stalking skills are elite. Even when friends have like met a guy and then didn't get their name, I have been able to find them. <laughs> shady, shady men that my friends have dated. I have found the tea. I am, I think, I don't know, I think most, um, I think some of you may be able to relate to that. Anyway, I'm going to keep stalking because I need to just do a little bit of research, but I didn't say you should ask me out. I got, I got really nervous, guys, really nervous, but we chatted, talked about what we did for work, um, talked about why he was training so early. <laughs> <laughs> why I was training so early um anyway it was just like general conversation it was general conversation and then when he left he's like oh hopefully I'll see you soon um so yeah there's that anyway the gym was quite busy or maybe he got shy too anyway guys whatever look at Franklin when he wakes up he's he's a sleepy boy but he's so excited to give everyone a kiss what about my kisses what about me <gasps> Hey, give mommy a kiss. Hi! <laughs> oh, Frank. We just got back from a walk. Come here. Come here. Let me take off your, let me take off your jumper. And your collar. 
it's actually going to be a beautiful day. It was so foggy and then, oh wait, <laughs> it was so foggy outside. Come here. Oh, he's run away. Hang on. <laughs> Just decided I'm going to film a, my makeup video this morning. I'm going to do it because I was going to do my makeup for work and I don't think I'm going to do my makeup tomorrow or Saturday and I promised that my makeup video was going to be next. So I'm going to show you guys, but I need to have a shower first and then, um, Obviously, you'll watch that video hopefully before this one, um, but I'll probably come back on here before I come back to work. Wow. <laughs> 9 one guys. And I just finished filming this makeup look, which would already be on my channel um, by the time that you see this. So I'm really happy that I did that before work because now I feel like, oh, my time management skills are great. But I'm going to log on to my actual job now because it's 9 o'clock and I will see you at lunchtime. I'm getting a Pokeball today. I'm getting a Pokeball. I, there's, there's nothing to it. I've got to get one. <laughs> Guys, I just went to the shop. I did check my PO box. There was nothing in there. But look what I got. I deserve this. I've got a meeting in 15 minutes, so I'm probably going to have to eat it after that. But I just came out of a two-hour meeting back-to-back. -back. Thankfully, all my meetings today are online, but I just felt like I deserved Poke because... Also, I've been saying it wrong. I did post about this on my TikTok. I was calling it Pokey. Why did no one tell me sooner? If someone did, I'm sorry I missed your comments, but it's poker. Poker. Salmon poker. I just filmed my, what do you call it, PR unboxing from Olay. And they sent me the product that I already use. And it's just like a full circle moment. Oh, I feel so grateful. I'm really tired as well, by the way. That double 5 a.m. wake up cooked me. But how cute of Chloe from Olay to do that. I'm actually going to trial some of the products and then I'll see if I will do any like sponsored work with them. I would love to do sponsored content with them because um, I actually already used the product like I said the other day but yeah I'm just like pinch myself every day. <laughs> pinch myself so much. I am going to feed Franklin dinner now because he's getting annoyed and then I'm going to make some dinner. I'm home by myself tonight. I don't know what I'm going to eat. Guys, we got Maccas. Delish. It's a takeaway night in our house. I am ready for bed. I'm going to put my little silk hairnet on. I ended up doing a TikTok live, which was so nice. So thank you if you joined me on there because the vibes were immaculate. And I actually hadn't done one in a whole week. So yeah. I want to do at least a minimum of like two or three a week so I'm going to try and I think just schedule it in because I let it get away from me but guys I also edited my makeup video which will go live tomorrow on the last day of me filming this which you would have probably already watched by the time you watch this but I'm going to head to bed because it's 10 30 and this girl is tired because she's been awake since 5 a.m. <sighs> anyway no 5 a.m. tomorrow because it's a rest day Good night. Good morning, guys. We are going for a walk. It's 6.30. Let me show you, Franklin. I just want to show everyone your jumper for YouTube. Look at how handsome this little boy looks. Oh, hi, Mama. Hi. <laughs> Happy Friday. We're going to go for a walk now, aren't we? Guys, I love this dog. He's like a little baby. All right. Now I am ready for work. I've just done my hair, my makeup. I am going to pick out an outfit because I do have a meeting to go to at 11. So I'm going to work from home until then and then I'll head out. All right, guys. I'm about to head out to my first meeting, my only meeting today. And here is the fit. I did wear my black chic bodysuit. I'm obsessed with it. And I have my Effie Cat pants on. And then I've also got my Alias Made boots. Now, I am going to a job site. So <laughs> when I get there, I will put on work boots and then put on a jacket and like my high vis. So I am just outside. I'm at a job site for one of my clients and I bought him a box of donuts. <laughs> Love my job. It's so good. So Usually I um, 
I mean, it depends on like what kind of relationship I have with the client. Um, but I know that this particular client loves the donuts. Um, and when I rock up on site with them, everyone is happy about it. So I'm excited to go give him that and then I'll head probably back home. Um, I just had to come out today to say thank you to him because yeah, he signed off on some paperwork for me this week, which was good. So my meeting went well, guys. And look what I went and got. And there's no avo in there. Today's a good day. Today is an elite day. I have finished work for the day, guys. I am just in the process of exporting my makeup tutorial that I filmed yesterday. I finished editing it after work at 6 p.m. <sighs> Dinner is ready. <sighs> but we just hit 140K on TikTok. And I'm like speechless speechless every time I'm like why do people think I'm interesting or care enough um and at the same time I'm like wow for for so long and I have really struggled with this in like my I'm gonna say my teen years and even my early 20s I always wanted so badly to like fit in or for people to like me and I constantly like wasn't true to myself and like sacrificed a lot of the things that I really wanted to do or yeah I just I felt like I wasn't really living for me and you guys allow me just to be my fucking self and I can't tell you how nice that is. And you always message me and say, thank you, Adele. You've helped me change my habits or you've helped me change my mindset or you helped me heal my heartbreak or you helped me. And you guys are always saying how much I help you. And I appreciate that. And I always say to that that it's not really me, it's you. I just make space for you to do what you need to do. It's really you that takes the action. But I don't think you guys realize how much you help me. Um, even this, like this whole vlogging thing. I was thinking about it today because I messed up. My therapy appointment is next Wednesday. It wasn't this week, um, which is fine. I can wait till then. I'm, I'm feeling okay. But this is a lot like therapy because <laughs> I, I, I capture, it's like journaling, but in video form. Um, and I track how I'm feeling and I capture how I'm feeling and even seeing older videos that I've got there that are forever there now. It's just like, wow, it's, it's cool. Anyway, thank you for making space for me. And thank you for being here. I'm not done with this weekly vlog yet. I'm not wrapping it up now. I just, I, I saw the 140. I was like, fuck. Um, I'm going to have dinner. And then I'm going to clean the bathroom cupboard. We're doing it together tonight. So if you have to clean your bathroom cupboard, this is a sign. Okay? Uh, yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Look at what we are having for dinner. Chicken, vegetables, some salad. We've got some... He's Franklin's growling because it smells delicious. We are going to do a Kmart trip because I went to just clean the bathroom cupboard and I want some storage containers. So dad's coming with me. We're going to do a quick little Kmart run. I might buy something. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we had a successful Kmart trip. What did we get, dad? Three of these <laughs> see-through containers. Perfect. That's So she can see her beauty products through there. There we go. There we go. So let's go clean the bathroom now. One thing I'd like to say. Thank you to that beautiful soul that came over and said hello to my daughter. Whoever says hello to us, it's a surprise for us and it's a surprise for them. <laughs> so you do get started with words and shit, but it was really nice. She was lovely. Her name but don't was be a, scared not to say hello. Her name was Olivia. Thank yeah. you, Olivia. You were so sweet. Um, it was so cute. She was like, hi, Dad, to my dad. <laughs> She's really cute. Anyway, guys, um, let's go clean the bathroom cupboard now. Hi. I'm about to clean the cupboard. It's a mess. It's worse than the pantry that time. Let me show you. Like, what the fuck, Adele? I'm going to take everything out, throw away what's out of date or that I haven't used or that's broken or that I can't use anymore. I'm going to reorganize. I bought these containers just now. It's going to look good when I'm done. Also, so I'm getting there. 
I forgot I had these. My One of my friends actually gave them to me because I complained about when I washed my face, the water running down. You put them on your wrist like that and it stops the water running down. Anyway, they're from this place. It's called Vela. Vela Days. Anyway, it does work. But that's why I prefer to wash my face in the shower. And I don't wash my face with like boiling hot water. I turn it down because you're not meant to do that. Um, but I, I cannot stand washing my face in the sink because of the water dripping down. But these are a lifesaver. Guys, look how much better that looks. What the hell? I'm so happy. I'm about to wash my makeup brushes now because they are gross. And you can see here how I've organized everything. I'm really happy. These containers are such a good idea because my plan is if I need to do my hair, I'll just take out this whole container. If I need to do my skincare, I'll just take out that whole container. If I need to do my makeup, I've got this. I prefer the bag for my makeup just because it's good if I travel. But yeah, I'm really happy. Just to show you as well, this is what I wash my makeup brushes with, guys. It's from Dezo and I love it. So I highly recommend this if you are looking for a puff or sponge or brush cleaner. It works a treat. Alright guys, I have just taken off my earring and my necklace and I am going to have a shower and get into bed. I'm probably going to do a TikTok live because we hit 140 and I want to say thank you to you guys. So I'm going to quickly shower, post my daily vlog and then jump on live. But I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping by the time this is up that we, I'm, I'm running the giveaway. But if not on this video by the time you watch the next one. I think we would have hit 5k on YouTube, which guys, I am honestly so grateful, blown away every time. So thank you for being here, for supporting me and just being literally my second family and like the best little community ever. Thank you so, so much. I love you. Have a great week ahead. I know that this will go live on Sunday. So if you do watch it on Sunday or Monday, I hope that you have a magical week next week and I will see you guys then.